The dog breaks free from his leash and sees the girl as prey. With sharp teeth bared, he charges toward her, frightening the girl to tears. Just then, Jingle, the scruffy stray dog, rushes over and instinctively positions herself between the child and the aggressive dog. Thinking that his dog is being bullied upon witnessing the commotion, the dog's owner grabs a wooden stick and starts beating Jingle without blinking an eye. Onlookers nearby furrow their brows in disapproval and begin recording the scene with their phones. It isn't until Jingle has been beaten to the point of collapsing on the ground a man intervenes and confronts the crazy dog owner. Seizing the opportunity, Jingle limps away, making her escape. Jingle sadly returns to the dock, where she remembers her owner, John, telling her to wait for his return there on the first day they met. But in the blink of an eye, three years have passed, and she wonders if she will ever see the man again. The first day Jingle meets John is at a breed house, where she refuses to eat and hides in the corner because her mother died a week ago. Seeing the man being so gentle to her, Jingle immediately grows fond of John. He lifts her in his arms, and they embark on a journey home. Jingle curiously peers out of the window, taking in the sights of the unfamiliar world. Suddenly, a call interrupts the moment. John's mother informs him of his sick grandmother, prompting him to depart urgently. They arrive at a dock, where Jingle eagerly trails after John. However, he instructs her to stay behind promising to return for her. Confused, Jingle is brought to a base where she sees many dogs and men wearing the same uniforms as John. As she wonders where her owner is, an orange rolls toward her. Looking up, she discovers that John has returned. He introduces her to a local specialty Wushan oranges, leaving Jingle with her first olfactory memory of him. Jingle soon has her first training as a firehouse rescue dog. She feels happy that John has always been gentle in playing with her. Days into months, Jingle excels in her training sessions with John's care. The day of becoming an official rescue dog arrives. All dogs must pass intense assessments. Jingle excels in the first two rounds. In the third, she conquers her fear of climbing stairs with John's encouragement. Yet, her ultimate test remains, leaping over a ring of fire to earn her role as a firehouse dog. The sight of the flames terrifies her, rendering her immobile. During the night, Jingle spots John bound to a chair encircled by towering flames. She lets out loud barks from a distance, but witnessing John's desperate cries and the intensifying blaze, Jingle summons her courage. With a brave leap, she rescues her owner. A few days later, a catastrophic eight-level earthquake strikes Wenchuan County in the middle of the day. In an instant, buildings crumble, bridges collapse, and people are trapped under debris, clinging to slim hopes of survival. The fire force and the rescue dogs are urgently mobilized, heading to the collapsed building to look for survivors. As heart-wrenching reports flood the television, the firefighters arrive at the scene. Their unease palpable amidst the devastation. John instructs Jingle to start searching. Jingle guides John to a pile of rubble, barking loudly and urgently, expressing her desire to enter. The duo are sent down after cutting the iron bars, with a moving cabinet almost injuring them. Jingle rushes to a corner and barks intently to alert John that she's found a man. Before long, an old man is rescued, and before he is secured out, the man keeps saying thank you to Jingle. In a moment of danger, Jingle senses another sign of life upstairs and immediately rushes over. Ignoring the potential threat, John follows suit, but devastatingly, another two iron concretes fall. The rescue ends up with John seriously damaging his legs and waking up in the hospital a week later. Jingle whimpers by his bed, thinking she has caused John this way. Some days later, the authorities decide to expedite John's retirement due to his severe injury. John makes a new collar with Jingle's favorite bell and tells her to keep being a good girl. Later, John takes Jingle for final training, knowing he may never see her again. John officially transfers Jingle's ownership to another comrade, Ben, the following day. But Jingle stubbornly refuses to let that happen. She is sent back to the cage, where she becomes angry at John and walks away even though John asks her to see him off. The time to leave the base soon arrives, as John is saying goodbye to the others. Suddenly, Jingle anxiously dashes toward him, picking up his bag in his mouth and escorting him to the main gate. Even as John attempts to continue, Jingle clings to the bag, unwilling to relent. Regrettably, John has to command her to release it, reminding her to be a well-behaved army dog. With tears in his eyes, John enters the car while Jingle chases persistently. She keeps running after the car until he's out of sight. From then on, Jingle rejects all training. Even Ben's kindness doesn't sway her. She simply walks away. Forced into duty, she escapes at any chance, causing headaches for the authorities. Unfit for rescue missions. Ben finds a breakthrough when he realizes Jingle's attachment to the bell collar John gave her. He removes it, refocusing her on training. Months later, a fire engulfs a town, collapsing houses. Jingle senses a trapped man and rushes in, but a massive explosion follows due to a gas leak. All the dogs, including Jingle, are injured and sent to the rest center. Jingle's injuries are the worst. She survives but can't return to duty. Ben places the collar back on Jingle and departs. She lies quietly, watching other dogs recover. Ben, an orange rolls nearby. Jingle dashes over, recognizing the scent. 
she spots a man picking up oranges from his car. Seizing an opportunity, Jingle hitches a plan to sneak into his car unnoticed. Jingle's heavy panting alerts the man, causing him to stop the car and inspect the trunk. Using her well-honed skills, Jingle holds her breath, evading suspicion. The car journeys through cities day and night before finally coming to a halt. Jingle steps out, immediately racing away, tracking John's scent through streets and blocks. Driven by her memories, she doesn't dare pause and, at night, enters a dark alley. She spots a trapped dog and a border collie attempting a rescue there. Across the alley, Jingle glimpses two men armed with pliers and bats. Understanding the dire situation, Jingle assists the border collie in freeing the trapped dog, but her actions draw the men's attention. They're excited. Capturing another dog means more money from a dog restaurant. Jingle flees through the alleys, but the two men corner her. In her moment of peril, a middle-aged woman intervenes, claiming Jingle as her own and causing the dog dealers to retreat. The woman welcomes Jingle into her home, treating her kindly and providing a haven. Jingle collapses in exhaustion in the bedroom, briefly feeling secure. She awakens to the aroma of food and rushes downstairs the next day, only to discover bloodstains and a dog collar, realizing the food was the dog she had met before. Jingle searches for food on the streets, enduring hunger. The border collie she helped arrives with a sausage and leads Jingle to a group of dogs. Unbeknownst to them, the dog dealers tail them. Arriving at an abandoned garage, they find more dogs. Suddenly, the dealers emerge, prompting Jingle to flee once more. Jingle and the Border Collie dodge capture attempts in a relentless battle with the humans. Initially outsmarting them, they're eventually cornered. The dealers use pliers to subdue them and cruelly drag them to a dog restaurant. Jingle's persistent barking angers the owner, who threatens to kill her first. Just as he's about to strike a deadly blow, an old man intervenes, forcing him to cease operations. The old man, a Wenchuan earthquake survivor saved by a search dog, unknowingly rescued by Jingle, offers the dogs for adoption. Fortunately, Jingle finds a loving family. In the car, Jingle spots a bell tower that reminds her of John. She barks incessantly, prompting the woman to open the door. However, Jingle quickly flees, following the trail etched in her memory from her first meeting with John. She arrives at a historical spot and sits patiently by the road. Night falls, and Jingle roams aimlessly, feeling lost. Suddenly, a familiar scent surprises her. She runs to trace it and finally arrives at the dock where John told her to wait on their first day. Despite her loud barks, John remains absent. Jingle spends days and nights waiting at the dock for his return. One day, a college student passes by and snaps a photo of Jingle out of curiosity. Meanwhile, John worries about Jingle's whereabouts and contacts Ben for information, but Ben keeps mum about her disappearance. Jingle's days are spent waiting at the dock and nights in areas where she hopes to find John. Three years elapse, and despite the hardships, her faith remains unshaken. The same college student contemplates adopting her, yet Jingle runs away again, leaving him deeply concerned. Later that night, upon watching a video of Jingle getting injured and then disappearing after saving a little girl, the compassionate young man quickly leaves a comment. He states he's witnessed the dog at the dock for years, seemingly waiting for someone. John's wife spots the comment and urgently insists that he verify the information. John eventually uncovers Ben's lies about Jingle and becomes consumed by anger. John rushes to the dock, scouring every corner to search for Jingle, but his efforts are fruitless. Upon discovering Jingle's bell abandoned on the pier, he breaks down in tears, overwhelmed by regret, and trusting the young man to aid in the search. John persists. Meanwhile, Jingle is rescued by two kind-hearted men after falling into the water. With her condition deteriorating, one of the men arranges for her to receive medical attention. Carrying the ailing Jingle in his pack basket, the man's path unexpectedly intersects with John's. Jingle recognizes John and races toward him, yet her injuries impede her speed. Once again, she loses sight of him. Back home, John hangs Jingle's cherished bell by the window, holding on to hope for her return. Jingle tirelessly runs day and night, eventually arriving at a house where she hears her bell chiming, beckoning her home. In a desperate moment, the two are reunited, both limping and teary-eyed. They approach each other. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance. Adam.